Kiki Sharks, it's Miss Amanda. Happy Science Month and happy Space Week. Today we're going to read a book about what stars are made of in The Stuff of Stars. The Stuff of Stars. Written by Mary and Dane Bauer, illustrated by Eku Holmes. In the dark, in the dark, in the deep, deep dark, a speck floated, invisible as thought, weighty as God. There was yet no time, there was yet no space, no up, no down, no edge, no center. No earth with soaring hawks, scuttling beetles, trees reaching for the sky, there was no sky, no you, no me, only the speck, waiting, waiting. And then the beginning of the beginning of all beginnings went bang. And in a trillionth of a second, our universe was born. A cloud of gas unfolded, unfurled, zigged and zagged, stretched, collided, expanded, expanded, expanded. Bits bumped, gathered, fused. And throughout the cosmos, stars caught fire. Trillions of stars, but still no planets to attend those stars. And if no planets, then no oceans, no mountains, no hippopotami, no violets blooming in the shady wood, no crickets singing to the night, no day, no night. The stars burned and burned. They burned so long and so hot that some of them exploded, flying stardust everywhere. And the ash of those dying stars gathered into planets, and the planets circled other stars. But still no bluebirds, no butterflies, still no snails, no giraffes, still no you, no me. The planets closest to their star stayed very hot. The ones far away grew very cold. But one lucky planet, a fragile blue ball we call Earth, was neither too far nor too near. It circled its yellow star, the one we call the sun, from just the right distance and with just the right tilt to be sometimes warm, sometimes cool. Perfect for turning that starry stuff into mitochondria, jellyfish, spiders, into ferns and sharks, into daisies and galloping horses. Again and again, stardust gave birth to stardust. Dinosaurs lived and died, making room for humans. Our great, great, great grandparents and all before them lived and died, making room for more and more children. Then one day, in the dark, in the dark, in the deep, deep dark, another speck floated, invisible as dreams, special as love. Waiting, waiting, dividing, changing, growing, until at last you burst into the world. You took a big breath of the same air once breathed by woolly mammoths. You cried tears that were once salty seas. Your hair wants the carbon in a leaf. You and the velvet moss, the caterpillars, the lions. You and the singing whales, the larks, the frogs. You and me loving you, all of us, the stuff of stars.